All good, thank you. Thank you, Ms. McCallion. Mayor McCallion has three children, Peter, Linda, and Paul, and one granddaughter. She's a keen sports enthusiast, ice hockey being her favorite. She enjoys fishing and gardening as well. The respected Council General of Pakistan, Mr. Tasadduk Hussain, is one of the most distinguished civil servants in the Pakistani Foreign Office. He has served in China, USA, UK, and Qatar prior to his posting to Canada. He speaks several languages fluently, including Chinese. During his stay in Canada, Mr. Tasadduk Hussain has made many friends and well-wishers. I would now like to call upon State Mr. Tasadduk Hussain to say a few words for us. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum and good evening. I wish a very happy Independence Day to all Pakistani Canadians. This is indeed a very important occasion in the history of Pakistan. This was the day in 1947 came when Pakistan came into being. And during this short history of 62 years, Pakistan has come a long way on the road to development and progress. And this development and progress has not been the result of the efforts of any single individual or a group, but it has been the result of the collective achievements of the entire nation. And I must say that our Pakistani communities abroad, including Pakistani Canadians, they have a very important role in this development. As Mayor Hazel McCallion just said, that. Uh, Pakistani Canadians, they have tremendous contributions towards the development and progress of Canada. And at the same time, I must say that they have also contributed very positively for the development of friendly relations between Canada and Pakistan. And we greatly value our relations with Canada. Although in this short history, we have been facing a serious, serious challenges and obstacles in our development. But the Pakistani nation of 170 million people, with their, with their collective strength, they have always overcame those obstacles. And even now, the challenges posed by the terrorism, terrorism and the terrorists, which is a spillover effect of the instability in a neighboring country, we are certainly committed to defeating this obstacle. And we greatly value the help and support of our friends like Canada in meeting these challenges. And I must thank the Canadian government for announcing an assistance of $25 million for the rehabilitation of the displaced people from Swat. And I am sure with our collective efforts and collective strength, which of course includes the help and assistance of our friendly countries, are, we, are, we are ultimately going to defeat these challenges and we are going to make even better strides on the road to development. And I also appreciate and congratulate the Pakistani Canadians for their tremendous contributions in the development of Canada as well as Pakistan. Wish you best of luck. Thank you. On behalf of everyone here, I would like to take the, this opportunity to congratulate Mr. Tasadduk Hussain for being promoted and posted as an ambassador to another country. Please join me in wishing Mr. Hussain the very best in his future works. The Honorable Member of Parliament, Bonnie Crombie, is an entrepreneur, passionate community volunteer, and resident of Mississauga who brings energy and vision as our representative. She understands the diverse needs of Mississauga and is active in improving healthcare and promoting the arts within our community. 
As our member of parliament, Ms. Crombie is committed to fight for a strong economy that respects our environment, better health care and access to education. I would like to request Ms. Crombie to kindly say a few words. Bismillah, Araman, Arahim, Salam Alaikum, honored guests, Council General, Madam Mayor, thank you for having me here and I bring you greetings from my leader, Michael Ignatieff, who couldn't be with us tonight but is with us tonight in spirit. You know, a miracle happened 62 years ago on August 14th, 1947, and a nation stood proud for a clear and united purpose. And we stand together today in honor of that memory. And that's why I've worn green in your honor today. I hope you like that. Thank you. So August 14th marks the anniversary, 62nd of Pakistan's independence, but also the very principles underlying its struggle for independence and vying for Islam as the state's religion. The day represents values which are universal to humanity, not just exclusively to one nation, one people, or one religion. It's a day that marks acceptance of all people and promotes the richness of Pakistan's culture and emphasizes cultural diversity, liberty, peace, individuality, and unity. The same values we share here in Canada. Your diversity is so numerous, and you have over 60 languages that you speak in Pakistan. It is Canada that could learn so much from you about multiculturalism and diversity, and we thank you. Your contributions as well, thank you, to peacekeeping and military assistance are renowned. When the world calls, Pakistan answers, and it's no surprise that you hold the largest deployment of peacekeepers at the UN. Pakistan has also taken education very seriously, and you can boast that you have an 86% literacy rate. It is something to be very proud of and will bode well going forward in the future, absolutely. Your culture is rich, and the creation of your Islamic State makes you the second largest Muslim population on earth. And this alone is a testament to the results of August 14, 1947. I am honored to be here today and to be considered your friend. I am privileged to serve you, and I want to thank you again for allowing me to be here. Please accept my most heartfelt congratulations for celebrating today while you continue to set the course of your history. On a personal note, I would like to thank the Honorable Council General Sassaduk Hussein for his service to Canada. My warmest congratulations to him for his promotions and my best wishes on his new assignment. I thank you for the privilege of serving you here. Congratulations to all Pakistanis, Pakistanis of the diaspora all across the world. Congratulations on your Independence Day. Pakistan, Zindabad. <laughs> and I just have a small token for the organizers. If I can call upon Mr. Dil Mohammed and Iqbal Bhatti and my good friend Mr. Ja uh, Javed Chowdhury to come forward. I would like to add that Ms. Crombie speaks several languages including French, Polish and Ukrainian. Thank you Ms. Crombie. The Honorable Kathleen Wynn, Minister of Education, has led, led many improvements to Ontario's publicly funded education system. Ms. Wynn is an acknowledgeable and passionate advocate of a strong publicly funded school system. She has played a major role as an organizer and facilitator, helping school communities grapple with education issues and leading citizens group in a number of grass Sorry, grassroots community projects. May I call upon Honorable Kathleen Wynne to say a few words with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good evening. Salam alaikum. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you so very much. And congratulations on Independence Day. It is a wonderful, emotional, and a celebratory evening. And congratulations to all the members of the organizing committee. It takes many, many people to put together an event like this. And I just want to follow up on some of the things that have already been said. As the Minister of Education, it's hard for me not to keep my eye on the children. And so when the children were on the stage earlier and they were flying first the Pakistani flag and then the Canadian flag, it seems to me that that is one of the messages for tonight. 
two independent countries, two countries that have, that share a value system of humanity, uh, two systems where democracy and where diversity are the rule coming together in this wonderful country of ours. And so I am very, very happy that the community, the Pakistani community, puts such a value on education, both in Pakistan and here in Canada. And we see that. We see that in our schools. We see that in our children. So congratulations to you for that. I have a message from the Premier Dalton McGuinty, my, uh, my boss. He would love to be here with you. He is here with you in spirit. And I'd like to just read his message to you. On behalf of the Ontario government, I am delighted to extend warm greetings to everyone celebrating the 62nd anniversary of Pakistan's independence. Ontario is a province that thrives on difference and celebrates diversity. We can speak every language and we have ties to every part of the world. Pakistani Canadians have made and continue to make invaluable contributions to the social, economic and cultural fabric of our great province. For those Canadians whose roots are in Pakistan, this is an ideal opportunity to reflect on the rich heritage and traditions that define and distinguish your vibrant, dynamic community. As you join with family and friends in joyful commemoration of this special event, please accept my best wishes for a very enjoyable and memorable Pakistan Independence Day, Dalton McGuinty Premier. Pakistan Zindabad, thank you very much. Ms. Wynn holds a Master of Arts in Linguistics and a Master of Education in Adult Education and has also completed mediation training at Harvard University. Mr. Lee McTaggart, Political Economic Section Chief Counsel. He represents the Council General of USA in Toronto. May I please call upon Mr. Lee Taggart to come here and say a few words. Thank you. Hello, good evening. I bring you greetings and congratulations from the people of the United States of America. And what we'd like to do is tell you that today, Pakistanis worldwide proudly celebrate those who awoke to life and freedom on this day in 1947, and always will remember the sacrifices made by your countrymen and countrywomen to gain that freedom. So as your flag is raised above Pakistan and in diaspora communities around the world on this Independence Day, in great cities and small villages, I know that you will take pride in the words and vision of Muhammad Ali Jinnah, whose desire to bring unity, unity, faith, and discipline to the peoples of Pakistan resulted in the creation of your great nation. Congratulations and happy Independence Day. May I please call upon Mr. Bob Decker to come and say a few words for us? Thank you. He is a member of our parliament here. Good evening, assalamu alaikum. Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, a great honor and pleasure for me to be here with uh, the Honorable Mayor McCallion, His Excellency the Consul General, our distinguished guests and all of you on this celebration of the 62nd anniversary of the independence of Pakistan. I uh, am here to bring greetings on behalf of Prime Minister Stephen Harper and the Government of Canada. And I'm very, uh, I just want to take this moment to express my concerns and the concerns of our government for, you know, the desperate situation of our uh, friends and relatives in the Swat Valley. Um, the the uh, Consul General mentioned earlier the aid that the federal government has been able to supply to uh, the people trapped in the situation in the Swat Valley, and our hearts go out uh, to all of them, and for anyone...